And you can clearly hear it there. Sirens blaring in Knox County warning people to take cover as a tornado warning is issued. NBC4 hit the air right away, spreading the message and tracking those storms. And NBC4 viewer sent us this video taken as this afternoon's powerful storms rolled in. Let's go ahead and check in with Storm Team 4 meteorologist Dave Mazza right now for a closer look at the storms that slammed into our area. Thank you. A wild day and Storm Team 4 warned us early about the possibility of strong winds today. Yeah, this all started around two o'clock. That's when those winds showed some potential to do some real damage here. NBC4's Ted Hart went straight to Knox County where he saw the effects of this powerful line of storms firsthand. Here in Columbus, the wind and heavy rain caused some real problems too. NBC4's Marcus Thorpe watched as water began rising in the streets along West Broad Street at Hayden Avenue. And Marcus, it came down so fast, it, it appeared that there was nowhere for that water to go. Yeah, absolutely. This was a downpour of epic proportions. And you Real mess there, Harrison. Thank you so much. We continue our Storm Team 4 coverage tonight. The strong winds, of course, knocking down a number of trees. Let's go to Mike Bowersock. He's live on Dublin Granville Road, where one of those trees is definitely down. Mike. Good afternoon, Dwayne. It looks like I'm standing inside of a forest, actually. A local community is losing its fire department. That after an intense special meeting. Coming up at 5.30, why the trustees chose to cut the department and put dozens out of a job. Right.com. Yeah, we just love to get the pictures, obviously. The caveat is don't yeah. take the pictures if you're jeopardizing your own safety. Yeah. But we do like to see them, so keep them coming in. Well, tomorrow in Los Angeles, the ESPY Awards will be presented. And Ohio State, it's going to be well represented. Buckeye football up for three awards today. A few of the players headed to Hollywood. Jared Smalley talked with the Bucks before they left. Hi, Jared. Hello. Do you hear the, you the rain? Hear it. no, it's pouring right on top of our studio. Just when we thought this was over, Dave. Mark. I didn't tell you to Never watch over. the car yet. You have to hold <laughs> off on watching the car until tomorrow. Ahead on NBC4, a man accused of stealing government property. But it's not just any property. We're going to tell you what he was taking from a veterans cemetery and why he did that. A man in Rhode Island is being charged for a crime even his lawyer calls unfortunate. Kevin Maynard is his name and he's now accused of taking damaged headstones from a veterans cemetery using those headstones of the vets to build a shelter for his car. Still ahead at 530, a small town lost its fire department, angering residents and firefighters alike. Yeah, the trustees called a special meeting that quickly got heated. We'll tell you what those angry community members had to say and what the town will do now in an emergency. And powerful storms ripping through Ohio this afternoon, bringing a tornado and flash flood warnings. Our Storm Team 4 coverage continues from all over central Ohio. We'll show you the damage those storms left. Don't go away. Much more coming your way at 530. Right. Our Rick Reitzel was in Wellston in Jackson County. He sent us this video. The storm that hit us moved south and hit Jackson County around five tonight, just as torrentially as it hit here. Well, thanks for sticking with us tonight, everybody. I'm Ellie Merritt. I'm Dwayne Pullman. Let's go straight to Storm Team 4 meteorologist Dave Mazza. What a day, Dave. Again. Is the threat over? Is it, you know, for the most part, this. Thanks, Dave. As we mentioned earlier, a tornado warning was called for Knox County this afternoon. The sirens sounded there just before 2. NBC4's Ted Hart is live right now tonight with a look at the damage there. Ted, how does it look? One resident told us she was getting a massage at the time and told her masseuse to keep working because if this was it, that's not a bad way to go. In Mount Vernon, Ted Hart, NBC4. And wise wow. she was. Thank you so much, Ted. Well, the wind was a major concern tonight, but the amount of rain we got in that short amount of time also causing some real problems today. NBC4's Marcus Thorpe is on the west side of Columbus where he's already shown us the streets were facing some major flooding from all that rain. How does it look right now? We've well, had enough, and I think we've all had enough, too, as reporters. Yeah. Back to you guys. All right, Marcus, I second that. We've had enough. Again, the winds did a lot of damage here. NBC4's Mike Bowersock is live on 161 tonight, where a tree came down, a big tree at that, Mike. Yeah, Dwayne, uh, why? Iran has struck a diplomatic deal with the U.S. over its nuclear program. President Barack Obama making the announcement today that the two sides have reached an agreement. 
Iran's president says his country never wanted to build a nuclear weapon. According to the agreement, there will be strict verifications of Iran's nuclear program. Inspectors will be allowed into the country to verify there are no military aspects to this program. In return, Iran will get relief from sanctions. While the president says he's very pleased with this deal, opponents say they're very concerned. Well, the storm that moved through here stretched all the way down to Cincinnati. Yeah, it sure did. And the All-Star Game is scheduled to start at 7 tonight. NBC4's Matt Barnes is live in Cincinnati right now. Matt, looks like the rain is going. How, how is the field holding up? The field's holding up pretty well. Remember, Elliot Dwayne? Should be a special night for sure, Matt. Thank you so much. He's right. It Weather shifts yes, here very does. quickly. Yes. A lot of us went through that where it was fine, and then boom. Have you heard about this? There's a new trend for expecting fathers. Right after the break, we're going to show you what they're doing to prove women don't have all the fun. Baby showers are a treasured tradition for expecting moms. There are gifts for the baby, cake, pink and blue balloons. Yeah, but there's a new trend out there for fathers-to-be that lets them celebrate too. Prepare yourself, it's a little bit different. Man shower! Yep, that's the man shower, a way for new fathers to commemorate their child's arrival, but this involves beer and games instead of gifts of and balloons, it does. of course. Yeah. There's even a website designed to help men plan their party, started by two guys who've oh, done this for years. We found that as we grew older and moved out of college and had kids, it was harder and harder to get the guys together. And they want to do something to celebrate the fact that they're a dad. Anything you can do with a red solo cup, right? <laughs> a man shower may include events like stroller relay or even the dirty diaper toss. There you go. Yep. Let's get to Cabot for what's next at six.